All right, today I wanna to take a quick look at something called the buoyant force. And that is the force that makes objects float when they're placed or immersed in some liquid. So to start, what I first wanna look at is Bernoulli's law. See, Bernoulli's law takes a look at three different types of pressures, static, dynamic, and hydrostatic pressures. And what it says is the sum of those three pressures at any two points within a fluid needs to be equal to one another. So what we're gonna to do today is take a look at fluid acting on the top of this block and fluid acting against the bottom of the block. Now this block's been immersed in this fluid, but nothing's moving, which means there's no velocity. So that means our dynamic pressure terms are gonna be zero. Now our hydrostatic pressure terms are just based on height, and we can measure height relative to any point we want in this cylinder. The easiest thing to do though is to say that the bottom of the block is at a height of zero. So what we're actually left with is this term, which is gonna relate the pressure against the top of the block to the pressure against the bottom of the block. So to solve for the buoyant force, we're gonna rearrange this so that our static pressure terms are on one side and our hydrostatic term is on the other. And to make things simple, let's just say this difference in pressures is effectively the net pressure across this block. Now remember, we're trying to get to the buoyant force which is acting on this block. Now force is given by pressure multiplied by area. So our buoyant force is gonna be the net pressure multiplied by the area of this block. Now it looks like we have our net pressure multiplied by area, but I wanna look at this in a slightly different way. Take a look at what's going on right here. Height multiplied by area. The height of the block multiplied by the area of this block is in fact the volume of the block. And this is gonna leave us with our final expression for the buoyant force. So the buoyant force is given by rho, the density of a fluid, multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity, multiplied by the volume of an object. Now this negative is significant because it means the buoyant force is in the opposite direction of the acceleration due to gravity. And this equation for the buoyant force is what we call Archimedes' principle. And effectively what Archimedes' principle says is the buoyant force is equal to the weight of fluid which is displaced by an object. Now if the buoyant force is greater than the force by gravity, we're gonna find that an object has a net force upward and therefore it moves upward. If the buoyant force is less than the force by gravity, there's gonna be a net force downward on this object and it will move down. And effectively what this is, is the difference between floating and sinking. Now in the rare case where a buoyant force is exactly equal to the force by gravity, there's gonna be no net force and we'll say that's neutrally buoyant. So what we've done is derived an expression for the buoyant force, or Archimedes' principle, from Bernoulli's law. And we can see whether or not an object is going to float or sink. And on that note, that's all for now.